thank you so much for um, the very um, beautifully difficult, hyper invisible <laughs> um, opacity of, of some of your poetry, Tari. And um, I was just to uh, perhaps engage a conversation. Um, I was wondering in listening to you, certainly um, as you were tracing something like a task with regard to the uh, non-erasable or ineffacement, the non-deletable, and, and the becoming incredible, in other words, uh, something that sometimes Lyotard might have talked about the what is happening kind of um, shock. And I was wondering, according to all sorts of other soundtracks and registers, if there isn't also here, including in your thinking of rhythm, which I hope you have a chance to, to say more about, uh, a kind of theorization or thinking of trauma, of the traumatic relique or residue, um, or maybe the name Paul Ceylan, um, that there's something about um, the originariness that you're suggesting of the effacement if I understood correctly, that the effacement comes first, after which there's something like the wutsu dishte in dürftige Zeit, in other words, something like a, uh, uh, the other Hölderlin poem would be the dishte mut, or the courage du poet, which would consist in, um, in breaking through or, or pulling out of effacement Right? Is that what you're you're suggesting? A kind of uh, relation to trauma in which the forgetting and erasing would come first. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that opens or no, closes. No, no, it's so. very uh, important. Kafka. So he looked at the mountain, and there is nothing to, to, to be seen except the mountain. But uh, he remind, remembers the story of Prometheus. So. Where are, and, and it's a fable of the l'oubli, come on, it will be oblivion. Kafka. So he looked at the mountain, and there's nothing to, to, to be seen except the mountain. But uh, he remind, remembers the story of Prometheus. So, where are, and, and it's a fable of the l'oubli, come on, it will be oblivion. Uh, so, uh, the eagle, come on, it will be, I forget, for, forget, forget, forgot, forgot is uh, devouring of Fomete, and uh, forgot is uh, duty, let's say, and the, the god forgot, and Fomete forgot, and everything, rentre dans la montagne, an enfin, extraordinary fable, maybe, it's a fable, it could be a sort of fable of the, even of the, um, the art as something of the past. Because if I take this famous Hegelian formula and illustrate it with the Promethe fable, I don't know what is the meaning of the effacement des arts, a sort of general tiredness, tiredness being a Promethe, the eagle is Fatigue, everyone, the god, the mountain, there's uh, nothing to be seen anymore. And now, so now we have, when we see a mountain, and for instance, I remember uh, uh, Prigen in Turkey, or uh, so uh, you, you look at this here, but it's not a, could, could, could we look uh, and search a figure of a, of a god inside the rock so we, we evoke? I, I'm not sure. So uh, I took a fast man, it's not in a positive or maybe neither negative nor positive effacement and the, the because the, 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 the meaning, the aim of all that is not the reinvention of another myth. Yeah. Uh, I remember two, two uh, 
uh, one or two years ago at the TV in Paris we had a, uh, an encounter uh, between Marcel Detienne, uh, whom you know quite well, Marcel Detienne, and a metteur en scène, a theater uh, metteur en scène, the, the monitor. The director. Yeah. Metteur en scène. Bon. And uh, this good metteur en scène, I've forgotten the name, but uh, repeatedly, constantly asked Marcel Detienne, give, uh, because Detienne has just published the Apollo. Tueur de loup, le cuisinier à Paul Lorraine. Euh, euh, Marcel Etienne gave us other myths or remains of myths, you know, that we could make theater, uh, mise en scène, and all that. What could we do without a myth, etc. And the Tien was a little disturbed that he did not uh, uh, answer, I think, is what he was thinking, but it is, the problem is to the, the end of myths. Because the myth is as the story of the victory. Uh, history is the uh, relation of the defeats. If you look clearly at the his, in history, you have defeat. In myth, you, myth you have always the hero. Uh, yesterday, uh, in the class, we uh, evoked the Don Quixote form of the hero who uh, makes a salida in the, in the desert and purges the country and uh, come home lately, uh, victorious or not, that's the, 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 the question of Cervantes. But the Thésé or Hercule, there was no problem with uh, monster, the victory of a monster, and back home. Uh, alors, uh, of course, this is a sort of a condensation, but so if the, uh, the, the goal or the view is to how to uh, in the same time, keep what I call the relic for a certain use, giving another sense, for instance, for what is the myth for us? For, I hope I don't offend the too many people, but it's the Christian myth, I mean, here in this part of the world. So, what, I've, uh, what, I, what uh, we have to, to, to deal with this relic, with the remain, that, that's, that was my question. So, in, <coughs> You have, uh, you are absolutely right. We, I have to work on the, the matter of effacement, you see, because of course the effacement is also a title of Blanchot and all that. Uh, but I, I took uh, uh, simply the oblivion, uh, uh, oblivion of the God, uh, uh, be become, becoming unfaithful, un homme de peu de foi. What is the meaning of peu de foi? Because everything is, in a way, everything is suspended in the, in the face, in the confidence we accord to each other. So the, 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 the element, the ether of our life consists in credulity, uh, croyance, uh, uh, according uh, faith to someone, and all that's it. So that how so how to keep these relics? Uh, and uh, to, to tell you a, a little more detail about my work, I reread some of Baudelaire's poems, trying to listen in the Baudelaire as sort of a, a legacy, a sort of, a, a sort of testimony. So, going through Heidegger <coughs> and the relation Heidegger and Berlin at the vertical of Baudelaire, so, uh, and to try to, for instance, to uh, 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 give a, a rich sense, the most rich possible, to the, this wonderful uh, Dodecasilab, uh, or in French, que pourrais-je bien dire à cette âme pieuse? What? Que pourrais-je bien dire à cette âme pieuse? It's a pure prose, justement. C'est la parole, qu'est-ce que je pourrais bien dire? So it's a, it's a wonderful Alexander, a wonderful Alexander, exactly the the, when you, you, you hear the, the capacity of the, the, the language, the prose, in the, the break of poetry, que pourrais-je bien dire à cet ambieux? That's, uh, uh, the, let's say, a task. Because everyone is pieux. Uh, 